subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> to us, being a twin, yeah, so we always give him the credit. Um, yeah. Because he kind of like bought, a, bought us our first summer. Did you receive much support emotionally and mentally? We have been there for each other. So, what's been your biggest challenge? Make sure you balance both. You sure. take your formal education. The informal one too also makes you sharp. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the proudest moment when I met um, this Hollywood actor, Jamie Foxx. <laughs> Destination Africa family, we're back on the road, heading off to our next interview. We are so excited about this interview. In 150 meters, uh, there goes the left onto Achimota Forest. We're going to slide left onto Achimota Forest. Uh, let me introduce the people in the cast. So here we have Pops. <laughs> Pops Destination Africa. Go Pops. Go Pops. It's your birthday. Go. 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 <laughs> My back. Yeah. The sissy is gone. Okay. Whilst he recovers. No. Off to Kolebu. Say hi. Hello. What's your name? Asida. Aka Hey, the Abrantia himself, okay. one and only, the Auntie Brassi, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Abrantia, Mag Asida, Magadia Inshira, say hi. Hello. And who are you? Adantia. Hello, Adantia, to say. No, no, who are they? And then, me, 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 it's Auntie Lamy. Oh, Auntie Lamy, Auntie Ndeno. Yo, Auntie Lamy is at the back, but we can see her all dressed up and ready to go. Until this happens. We It's us again! <laughs> okay guys, so where are we going today? Today we are going to see somebody, well, somebody. Somebody? So cool. There's, There's more no than spoiling. one body. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy we'll the see ride. You there. Okay. Bye. 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 Patient. more. Unity. Unity. And respect. And respect. Woo. -hoo. Those are the three things we must always remember at Destination Africa. Wow, nicely sung. Hi, I'm Pesapra. Okay, guys, shout this out if you know the answer. What five letter words become shorter when you add two letters? Short! Hey! Yeah, you can't use that one. This is a recap. Yeah, in recap, you see. Yeah, 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 you the original Asida Richardson. Destination Africa, the Mamunina Koaba. So many good things come in pairs like ears, socks, and panda bears. But best of all are a set of twins with extra laughter and double grins. As you know, our mission and vision is to change and inspire the next generation of Africans. 
So today we are honoured enough to not meet just one, but two game changers. Mienu, yes, Mienu. Meet the duo that have changed the face of African photography. Uncle Sammy and Uncle Emmanuel, better known as Drumroll, please. Whoa! Give it up for the twins, go back! <laughs> <laughs> If I show you about her, but I'm being in her. Yeah, about her say you bet me a year. Yeah, you bet me a no way in your man. Say you bet me a share the way. But brother, when you know, sing it. Why ain't I for my in your man can see it? It's me. Into me, Pacho. Yeah, but Bussa and Sammy Kakrebi say you bet me a chain the way. Sing you bet me a twas. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant guys. Okay, so let's just go straight into the first question. Who's got it? So where were you two born and raised? Um, so we're born and raised in Kumase. Um, uh, we're woo born, woo! We're so born to um, a small family. We 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 had um, we have three sisters, and we are the the guys of the family. Oh. Yeah, so. You guys are kids, right? No, no, we have, no, no, no. We have an, um, a younger sister. Okay. Yeah, a younger sister. So, girl, girl, twins. Yep, then another girl. Wow. Wait, two, um, two girls ahead, one girl at the back. Yeah. So, making five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. So, as you've done your travels, what does it mean to be gone, you know, Africa? Um, that's an interesting question. Um, I I can say it's challenging to be a Ghanaian, but it's also um, nice because like whenever anybody meets you in your tri or on your trips and you say you are Ghanaian, the kind of impression that they give some are very happy to meet a Ghanaian because they've heard a lot about Ghana and. Um, most of the things that they hear about Ghana is quite positive. Um, you have reactions like, I love your country because of um, the culture. Um, I love your country because of the tourist attractions that you have in your country and also how welcoming the people are. So, and the history as well. So, um, these are the kind of positive reactions that um, we get whenever we travel around here. Yeah. Kumasi boy, yes, Kumasi. born and raised. 100%. The next question is, it almost yeah, doesn't require asking, <laughs> but I'll ask it. Do you speak your native tongue? Oh, yeah, Chidi, yeah, Kachi, yeah, Kachi, yeah, Kachi. Kachi, Google. Kachi. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, oh. Anopa. Me, 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 what does being a twin mean to you guys? Being a twin and your family, what does it mean to you both? Um, to us, being a twin, it's, it's, it feels like you were born and you are stuck with someone all your life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and yeah, that's the fun part of it. Like, it's very interesting. It's, it's, it's like whenever you are doing anything, it's twice the impact. So. Um, we have like a competitive advantage. Yeah, if yeah. you have to do something like on your own, um, it's going to take you like two hours. But if it's just both of us, like 30 minutes, yeah, yeah. Um, he does this, I, I do this, yeah. and um, we get to finish a lot of stuff and, and at a very been faster our, rate. That has been our, um, like your ethos. Yeah, exactly. That has been our, uh, what distinguishes us from everything. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, everybody. Even sitting here, I feel like I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then that's good. <laughs> oh, sheesh. Yep, back to me. So, who inspired you growing up? Um, growing up. Growing up, wow. So, um, I would say our dad. Um, I'd say our dad. Um, he, he, you know, um, the 
culture and Ghana in, in, his, in his early ages, he came to Kuma City Hustle. Right. Yeah. And, and, and he did it right, even though it was really difficult most of the time. Yeah. But um, he never gave up on his family. And he gave us the best education. Mm-hmm. And he gave us, he did his best. Yeah. And I think every time you see how he wakes up, go to work, and and took care of his family, his uh, church, and all that. And I think that gave us this zeal and hustle to get mm-hmm. out in the world and and, and, and make, make him proud. Make make him proud. Yeah. Uh, even though he couldn't see uh, much of. It. Much of it, and, and but I'm, I think he saw just a little bit of of, of the success story before he passed away. Definitely, I'm sure he's here with us in spirit. <laughs> yeah, proud of you guys. Yeah, but he really worked hard. He wow. really worked hard. Yeah. So, uncle or uncles, <laughs> what motivates you when the going gets tough? Uh, calling uncles makes us feel older. <laughs> <laughs> Making us yeah, feel good. Like we are retirement. But what 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 happens when it's things are hard? Yeah. Um. It, it hasn't been easy, you know. It hasn't been easy because um, when we started, we received very little support, you know, very little support. So it's been like a tough journey, and um, it's taking like. A lot of hard work to make people see um, our worth. Yeah. So, um, it, 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 if you work hard, it gets to a point whereby you start having um, support from people, and that's when the genuine support um, starts coming in. Um, so, when things get hard, we just <laughs> We just keep on moving on. Like there's, there, there, you can't, you can't fail. That's the thing. Yeah. You can't fail. You just have to just and, keep and on. I think, I think at some point, um, we were like, there's no way we're going back to where we came from. Definitely. So the only way was forward. Yeah. And we Never just had to keep on moving. Yeah. But I think, I think on this journey, there are some people that we met um, along the way that kind of like really challenged us. You know, on a different level. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they gave us a, a different thinking of how life is and how to approach and attack certain um, um, situations. And I think that really inspired us to um, to do to do what, what we are doing. I remember um, seven years ago, we, we first. We met in seven years, seven, eight years ago, and he challenged us to the max. Um, and we've been together since. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. We all learn from each other. Yeah, great answer. Same with you. Hi. So, guys, I mean, you guys, you, you're not doctors. You're not accountant, you're not lawyers, yeah. you're not Ghanaian. Oh no, so I was going to say you're not Ghanaian. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, you guys are in photography, film, and video. Yeah. What inspired you or made you passionate about your area of expertise? Um, I think photography chose us first of all um, because even before um, we completed university, we were doing a lot of events, a lot of moving around on campus. A lot of filmmaking and all that. So everything that we did was directing us to um, something be- with the right. camera. We, whenever we do events, there wasn't anything to show for, okay. um, especially evidence like this is the event and all that. So um, after f- working on a Hollywood movie set, uh, the money that we got, we just used that to buy our first camera. First investment. Yeah, yeah, first investment. It, it was it was like um, the money wasn't. I remember it was like uh, six hundred CDs. Yeah, it was 600. like six hundred CDs, and the camera was was I think 
hmm, was 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 much. It was like twenty the six hundred cities were I think twenty percent of the amount of the camera. So one of the Hollywood actors, because of our seven attitude and humility and how hard working we were on the film set, he decided to pay for the rest of the camera for us. Wow. Yeah. And 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 that and that guy we we've been in contact with um, I mean visited him in London and all that and 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 he was the one who actually I think made um, the photography, the photography yeah. dream yeah. come true. Yeah, that is amazing. Yeah, so we always give him the credit because um, yeah. he kind of like bought us bought us our first camera. Yeah. And, and on top of it, I think one thing I've picked up is you know what, regardless of what you're doing. Give it your best. Yeah. yeah you because it's oh, like we really work hard on that mm, yeah. Because of your attitude, that attitude opened up a door that you guys didn't even think of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know that attitude has never left you guys. Like you're still really persistent, very persevering. <laughs> like you don't stop until you get what you're looking for. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. How would you say from then till now your vision has evolved and changed over the years? Okay. Um, I believe we're like We've achieved like twenty percent of our vision. Hey, um, do, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. there's a lot yeah. there's a lot for us to achieve. Yeah. Um, I think two years ago our vision was to do an international event like right. VET or NACP yeah. awards, and we've done that. Yeah. yeah, we've done that, and we 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 still want to do more, wow. like the Oscars. Um, Grammys, Grammys, Grammys yeah. all the big shows. Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. We we have a lot to look forward to from you guys. So, yeah. Just it's just like every year we just keep on surprising people because yeah. like they think this is just it's for us and we just yeah. bring something yeah. um, to wow them. Yeah. 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 You know the thing is you have your brain, your creativity. What you know? Why not? Why not? Mm, makes yeah. it all up. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what's been your biggest challenge thus far? Um, biggest challenge as any young entrepreneur or any young um any in anything that you want to do. Yeah, um any uh, financial support is one of the biggest um challenge, especially when it comes to investment because like any our field most of the equipment or all the equipment are very expensive. Imagine from now, you guys are calling a certain insurer, a nephew and me. <laughs> so, if you were to do it all over again, what advice would the twins, 20 years plus now, give to younger twins who were to do it again? That's a very interesting question. <laughs> Yeah. 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 You guys are yeah. Yeah. What advice? You take your education serious, but mm. also take your passion very serious. Right. Right. Yeah, and I feel you can play um, the two side by side. Yeah. And and I wish if 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 our parents kind of like encouraged us mm. to also choose that passion, yeah. we would have been. In a different place. Yeah, yeah. in a different place. Yeah. Yeah. But we we also didn't really put our education and for granted. We took it very serious. And I think that's what um, also set us up different from um, all the other. Yeah. And education can be formal and informal. Yeah. You know, so you yeah. have to make sure you balance both. You take your formal education and that makes you very smart like um, when it comes to dealing with people when you know, the informal one too also makes you sharp yeah, yeah, you know yeah. only a few parents are recognizing that mm-hmm. only a few and, and whenever we, we we get a chance we use that to educate and parents and and, and and a lot of young people also reach out to us that oh this is what we want to do I want to be best by my parents don't um, want us to do this. So we just 
we meet we meet this and that kind of situation a lot. So yeah. we always use the opportunity to um, use our experience to help them out of the press. Some some are kind of like really depressed <laughs> about um, how they want to follow their passions. Yeah. Like my parents yeah. wanted to be doctors or uh, lawyers or. Um, but meanwhile, photographers earn more money than lawyers. They do, it's a colonial mindset. Yeah, yeah. exactly. They earn more money than lawyers and doctors. And yeah. Because you pick up a camera, shoot a commercial, you're making about $5,000 for like a shoot. Yeah, yeah. And the doctor will have to do, do about 10 cents. <laughs> <laughs> With no sleep. Yeah, With yeah, no yeah, sleep. Yeah, yeah. And you are just, you, you, are, you just shot for, for an hour or two and you just relax. Editing from the comfort of your zone. Yeah. But yeah. the whole point is um, just respect everybody's hustle, you Absolutely. know. What would you say has been your greatest personal achievement to date? Mm-hmm. We've achieved a lot, a lot. Yeah. And there's more to achieve, but yeah. well, greatest achievement. Mm-hmm. Um I think one of the proudest moments when I met um, this Hollywood actor Jamie Fox. Oh, yeah. Did you go yeah, yeah, yeah. His house. Okay. His house. Mm-hmm. I was in his house. Yeah. And um, a lot of people saw um, me hanging out with him. Yeah. And they, they are like, they've been in LA for like 20 years and they've not even seen him before. Yeah. And just imagining someone coming from Ghana and hanging out with him in his house. Right, right. You know, yeah. um, that was a very proud moment. Proud moment, like. Definitely. Yeah, and these yeah. guys actually, well, I was going to say they watched Annie. Last year they were hooked on Annie, especially this one. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so, I was, I was going through your pictures and then we saw one with you and Jamie Foxx, and the first thing she said was, oh, is that him with Jamie Foxx? I was like, yeah. Yeah, I think I'm more interested in the girls than the boys. You're more in the girls than the boys. So, I'm, I'm speaking to the Twins Don't Beg five years from now, you know, in four. How important do you think it is to pass culture and identity to the next generation? Um, without culture, I feel um, someone losing his whole identity. Um, I've I'm following a lot of um, celebrities from the States and um, example T.I. We met T.I. in Ghana like in December when he came for the year of the 10th mm-hmm. and recently I saw on his social media he posted that when he came to Ghana he felt this sense of um, relief. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he felt, there's a word for it, but he felt mm-hmm. that he belonged to Ghana because he he, he came to witness something that he's never felt before. So this isn't actually my question, but just off the back of what you said, because it really resonated. What would you then say to parents who are now very insistent on not teaching their children their languages? Because we see a lot, lot of that since we've come to Ghana. Yeah. How do you think that would end in the next few years if that continues? Well, um, being an African parent in a diaspora, yeah. I feel um, it's very important to actually bring your kids to, to feel the culture, see the way people are um, enjoying in Ghana, people are suffering in Ghana, people are humble in Ghana. Let pe- let let the kids see um, something that they are not really used to, and that psychologically um, teaches the kids how to appreciates life, you know, that they are in a, in a, um, should I say, in a um, fortunate um, position, yeah. you know. But you can still see that even when most of these kids grow up, they're all coming back to Ghana. What advice would you give to parents who instill pride and confidence in the African child for them to feel valued and have confidence? especially to people living in diaspora and um, try at least teaching um, them the about language. the history of Ghana and also the language, the language which is important. more important because you, you, it makes you proud, yeah. you know, and the food, mm. you have to teach the kids how to um, do good Ghanaian um, food, 
This is Suda. And especially to eat like for food. Uh, exactly. Yeah, eat for food. The hands, how we do it down here. Yeah. You know, so parents, you need to teach these um, kids how you do everything. Yeah. And yeah. Part of the culture. Yeah, part yeah. of the culture and all that. So what's your thing? Mm -hmm. What would you request of today's youth for your ideal Ghana in 10 or 20 years? Perfect. Okay, fellow Ghanaians, <laughs> right? That's it, you started right. Yeah. Okay, my fellow Ghanaians, um, I mean, we want the current youth or generation to really pay attention to what they, you know, not see on social media and actually follow the right channel and know that there's no easy way to make it in life. and. Every every um, success come with like hard work. I mean, extreme hard work and being consistent, consistent um, at whatever you want to, you know, achieve. So no shortcuts. Um, don't think social media is is everything you see on social media is, is exactly um, oh, what yeah it is just concentrate on 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 your dream and and chase your dream and 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 also education educate yourself education can be formal and informal read a lot and and also be the kindest um person to anybody you meet in life wow. that was the president's speech if i ever to <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so twin number two so do you have a problem African problem to leave us with. Hey, we'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah, you know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, both friends are bad here. So, as long as you are right mm -hmm. and you are sweet, every day, everybody is going to um, come to you yeah. and, and consume you. Um, so you need to always make sure that um, first of all um, you are sweet and sweetness comes with hard work as my brother said earlier on. Um, once you are relevant and once you are valuable and everybody plays a high value on you as a person yeah. and you always have a lot of people coming to um, um, how do you call it? How patronize whatever products and services that you are offering. So there's a lot of hard work which goes in, into making yourself a valuable person. And once you're able to achieve that kind of sweetness and that kind of ripeness, you have a lot of people patronizing. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was fantastic, guys. You've Thank literally you. gone through those questions in a flash. In a flash. Very so difficult much. questions. No. Let's <laughs> <laughs> you we have to highlight through. that it's very difficult questions. Oh, bless you. No, you made it. It's like it's like these. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 elective mass. Elective mass. Oh, no, free. Yeah, that's free. Yeah. 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 So yeah, thank you very much for your time, guys. Your time, your journey, your experience, expertise, absolutely everything. We didn't just learn from this, but I'm sure everybody watching will be learning. So we just want to take this opportunity to say a huge thank you. Destination Africa Twins Don't Beg Challenge. Who is the oldest? Who is more sensitive? Who was the naughtiest or the sneakiest? Who is more likely to steal the last piece of meat from the soup? Who snores louder? Who is more likely to refuse the police a bribe? Who is more likely to start an argument? Who spends more time staring at their phone? Who is more likely to cry at a sad movie? Who is more adventurous? Who is more likely to survive on a deserted island? Who is more needy when sick? 
Who takes longest to get ready? Who is the better Adua dancer? Action. <laughs> Who makes the best fufu and a benkwine? Who is the best singer? Sammy Action. Um. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sammy, go for it. It's time. Your time. <laughs> Ima Action. Oh, mysterious girl. Move your body close to mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you? And another one. <laughs> and the last one. <laughs> so guys, you're the audience. You decide who won that. I know that Adwa is going to tip it. The singer is going to tip it. But hey, leave your comments in the comment section and let us know. So before we go, we have something very, very small for you guys. A massive thank you. So the first thing is... Two destination Africa T-shirts for two. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, I was going to ask that. No way. Like, where is our T-shirt? Oh, we we couldn't live without giving you guys T-shirts. Oh, yeah, so yeah. yeah. We have two T-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Double the T-shirt, and then. Oh, there's more. There's more. Hey. 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 Okay. So this is um. Okay, come on. This is a presentation from a very talented young man from a company called Bespoke Fabrications and he's done you this, you guys, this amazing box which simply says, um, twins don't beg, enjoy, oh, wow. yeah, wow. <laughs> I need to take this, with me. <laughs> <laughs> it says a joy that is shared is a joy that is double, yeah that's it from the Destination Africa Village, thank you guys so 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 much, yeah. there is, um, let me just, Something for both you guys. In oh, the nice. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want the box. They don't want the box. Oh, bless you. This one fabrication. Thank you so much. This is amazing. And this is yours. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, Charlie. Somebody's name on the box. Hey. <laughs> you guys, you guys oh, are very yeah. Thank you so much for everything you've done for the community. Yeah. So. so. So guys, we've come to the end of another episode and we'd just like to say thank you for watching. Make sure you like this video, you subscribe, leave a comment below and tell your friends. It's time to say... It's